All right, girls. Time to get you girls situated someplace else. Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So it's been a little bit since I've done a video. You can probably tell from my voice. I've been a little bit under the weather, or really a lot under the weather. Um, Saturday, I was completely fine. I uh, went to fellowship and all that. Came home, went to bed, woke up about I don't know, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, sick as a dog. Um, I ran a fever for three days. <laughs> um, at first I thought it was the flu. Pretty sure it was a variant, if you know what I mean. Um, just because of some of the symptoms and how incredibly sick I was. And the fact that no cold or flu medicine did anything anything at all to relieve any of the symptoms um, a including I also had like the whole taste bud thing was kind of there I, I I remember drinking something and, and thinking to myself can I taste that I don't know if I can taste that yeah so but I'm on the mend uh, I've actually been out working in the garden today and I'll, I'll show you what we got done here uh, Mr. Smith helped me put in some tea posts and, and hang up some cattle panels um, so we're starting on the garden um, I'm not able to do a whole lot yet my energy level isn't real great so I did want to share a couple of things with you first of all I did finally get the recipe for that apple swirl quick bread uh, published on my website that went up on on my website it would be yesterday when this video goes up um, and so those of you who are not cornbread crew members um, you can now get that recipe there um, people who were members of the cornbread crew 
I published that recipe in the community tab for them so they had early access to it. Um, I have two more recipes that I'm going to be sharing probably next week. Um, one of them was the other recipe that I had done in the video where I had done all of that baking. Um, I was going to share that on Monday, but then, you know, I got sick. <laughs> um, so I'll be sharing that recipe. And then I have another one that I'm going to hopefully be sharing next week as well. Um, I did want to give an update, though, on the All-American Canner. You may recall that I had that little incident with the water and, and all of that and the, and the pitting. Um, All American actually had me send them some photos and from the photos they were able to determine that there was actually nothing to worry about with the canner. Um, that was really good news um, because you know I was worried about the safety. There was pitting from that water sitting in that canner for several months and me not knowing it was in there. Um, if you missed that story, I'll put a link down below or something, or maybe up here in the corner for you in a card where you can uh, watch that and find out the whole story of what happened. Um, but the canner's good, and so that means the new All American canner that I bought, or the two that I bought, probably weren't really quite necessary, but as far as I'm concerned, that's okay. I have three adult children and this will give me the ability to have more canners, good quality canners that will last lifetimes that I can pass on to um, my kids. So let's walk over here and I can show you what we've got going in the garden so far. All right, so right here in this mountain of dirt, as well as in that mountain of dirt over there, we've planted some watermelons. We figure we can give them this good garden soil. They can get started there, and then they've got all this space that they can spread out if they want. Um, so over there we planted, it's called tailgate. Yeah, tailgate seedless watermelons. These are from Haas Tools. And then these are some moon and stars watermelons, which I think I think I had gotten the seeds from MI Gardener. Um, these are not new seeds, they're kind of old, so we just planted all the seeds that I had, and we'll just see if any of them will come up. There probably will be some, but you know, we'll see. So right here, we put in a full length cattle panel, and kind of dug a little bit of a trench right there. I'm filling that in with some good garden soil, and this trellis will be for beans. All right, so in the raised beds, we put all of the trellises up today. Um, now this one I had already put in the two T-posts, but I couldn't find my clips um, and, and clip tool to attach the cattle panels. And so Mr. Smith actually went and picked up another one of those tools for me today. And so we went ahead and we attached the trellis and then Mr. Smith sunk um, all of the other T-posts for these two beds for me today, as well as the ones for the, the full length cattle panel down there. And then we went ahead and attached the half cattle panels, as you can see here, for those beds for trellises. Now, the two beds down there, they are not planted yet with anything. They won't be planted for several more days because I'm in the process of hardening off all of my baby plants. Um, the bed that's right here, on this side I have gone ahead and I've planted some peppers and I just went ahead and grabbed some starts when I was at the feed store the other day. I've got some banana peppers and I've got some bell peppers, as you can see here. And then on, in this bed, I've also got peppers. These are jalapeno and cayenne peppers. So I'm kind of keeping the hot peppers and the mild or sweet peppers separate. 
it's just what I like to do. It makes it makes it easier to keep track of things. And then I did pick up two tomato starts. Not that I really needed to, but they had this variety called Arkansas Traveler. And I've seen it before, and I thought, well, you know what? We're in Arkansas. Why not grow a couple Arkansas Travelers? Oh, and I see some little buds. You are not ready to be growing tomatoes, buddy. Go ahead and pluck those off. You need to establish some roots first. Now down here on the very end, I did go ahead and plant some rosemary. I have two more rosemaries, but I'm going to plant those up by the house in that big, long stone bed that I have because that's going to be primarily an herb garden. Ruby! Ruby! Hi, baby girl! Oh my goodness. <laughs> And then in this bed over here, uh, this was just some extra soil and I didn't want it to go to waste. It was just the, what was left in the bed of my truck after filling in all of these. And so I just grabbed some of the logs from the tree that was taken down right there. And uh, Jack, my son, went ahead and planted the remainder of the cucumber starts. Um, the, or the cucumber seedlings, I should say. These were um, seeds that he started. I have no idea what variety of cucumber they are. I don't know if he knows what variety of cucumber they are, but he's determined to make lots of pickles this year, and so there's, there's cucumbers all over the place. There's two more beds up by the house of nothing but cucumbers. So I think last year... Last year is the first time he grew anything that I know of, and it was cucumbers, and I think he's kind of hooked on gardening. And so that's, um, that's what we got going on here. I will be putting a trellis in here for the cucumbers to grow up on. Um, I'll, I'll do a cattle panel, and I'll probably just do it in an arch, or I think I have two more half cattle panels up there. I could take those and make a teepee sort of um, trellis. So I'll just have to look and see what I've got up there and then I'll determine which one I'm going to do. So I mentioned a while back um, wanting to get wood chips delivered and how the wood, uh, the tree trimming crews who were working for the power company told me that they would drop some off for me. Well, they dropped a whole bunch right there, and I had started spreading it out in this little area. It's kind of the pull-in uh, where Sophie and Amos are, because um, it gets pretty muddy. But, they didn't stop with that. They kept bringing chips. <laughs> and bringing chips and bring in chips. <laughs> I've got more wood chips at this point than, I've, than I just about know what to do with. <laughs> so, I think we are full up with wood chips for a little while. And uh, I can think of all sorts of things that we could maybe use this for. So here's the seedlings that are being hardened off. We've got zinnias, calendula, zinnias, cosmos. These are the um, splash of cream tomatoes. Over here we've got all the basils. We've got some German winter thyme. We've got the garden sage. So it's, uh, they'll be getting planted here before too long. Over here I've got some more cosmos, some more herbs, and a whole bunch of tomatoes. But these will all be getting planted in a few days, probably next week, well next week sometime, after they're, they're good and hardened up and ready for the heat. All right, Nubsy, are you about ready to get fed? Yeah. 
Alright you guys, thanks for hanging out and spending a little bit of time with me here again today. I will talk to y'all next time.